Welcome to the Slick Trigger Commentary Track. What Today, is up, everybody? We are watching Slick Trigger. We're watching Slick Trigger a year after it's been created. So just, just so you guys can like get you know a little bit of an understanding of, of what you know what we're dealing with here this, today. This is the mind of the creators. So here. explain to me why you put this quote in. So well, it's really the overview. The, this this movie is supposed to have like uh, Christian undertones and right, stuff like that. Right, right. The idea 100%. of the movie is to not conform to what you know is wrong. Right. And I want to quick talk about this. Uh, this was actually not rated by... Yeah, the, it, it was not rated at all. The no. fact that you put that there is kind of right. a lie. And it I think is, it's is kind of crazy, crazy too. too. We just want to make it look good, yeah. <laughs> did not rate it at all. Yeah. I don't want to get sued. Uh, yeah. Right. And Here's, then this this intro is just savage. Sexy. Savage. It is. It, There's cold smoking. Oh, th- I wasn't smoking. Don't yeah. be... Don't, <laughs> don't frame smoking. the poor boy. Oh, Ooh, this opening so shot is drawn good. shot. Very beautiful. We, we reused that shot many so times. So that was shot um, with a spark? DJI yep, spark? Yep, the DJI spark. Yep. Uh, choosing 1080. That's Trevor's hand. I thought that was your hand. No, that yeah, was Trevor's. This is Trevor's car. We, we used his car for a lot of things. Now that's Trevor again. How this is actually work? really early on in filming. I'd say this... Yeah, that, that was one of the first things. So the difference between the car driving and this, even though it happens yeah. at the same time in the movie, is probably taking place about six months apart IRL. Yeah. That's There's about me. true. That was the freaking coldest. It's the worst night ever. Worst night Holy on set. Holy crap. If you listen um, to the podcast, we actually no, talked about that. No, this night here. Yeah, yeah, this is a terrible night. This day was awesome. With all the people in the police office. That was so fun. That whole day, that we filmed day. probably seven different scenes there. That was great. But this was, probably was awful. Worth of our we could not be outside more than two minutes at a time at this uh, this part. It was so cold. It was so cold. That was honestly this. This right here, what you're seeing. Worst, worst day on set. Just awful. because of how cold it was. It was awful. It was, you know. You get frostbite if you're out there for longer than three right. minutes. Great group of people. Great group, Great but we group couldn't really interact because we had to keep running back to the cars and warming up. How much? How much of this th- of the scene do you think we actually got done? Did In that we night, get the entire uh, scene. We got done? a good amount. We got a yeah, good I'd amount. Say. We only say. had to come back to do a few little cleanup parts. Yeah. This was cool. This was a T cop that helped us out. So we got a squad car. Super, super awesome, by the way. And this shot here. Ooh, Oh God! Mice, the spicy. cinematography. Oh, We're those masks up. though, um, they don't look that great. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie. That's one of our downfalls. One of our downfalls. It's mask. it's truly, it's unfortunate. And um, it just shows you that conforming is <laughs> ugly though. That's you know? right. But it, it, it symbolizes the same shot. Yeah, it symbolizes. Ooh, this intro though in theaters, I mean, it hype. looked freaking. A-L. It hits hard. So this is all. Joey Schultz made this. 3D intro that we're about to see here, here yes. right there. Um, how long did it? Did, do you know how long it took him to make this? Um, so I was actually down in the lab with him. I think this took us about two days to do, um, just to get it exactly how he wanted. Um, the color scheme is so good. Oh yeah, he uh, he did great amazing. at that, and and yeah, this is a Batman Arkham Origins song. You know, going for like the the red and the blue kind of contrasting right. each other, Cop sort of thing. Kind know? of That's the good right. versus yeah. evil. That's right. You know? Yeah. You're and then, really, really leaning into that. Um, this, originally, you were going to crop this so it was like a 235 by 1 aspect ratio, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. Um, but you decided because against, against it, just going for the full 16 by 9. Because kind of like an IMAX feel. Because we hadn't filmed it preparing for that. It's kind of like Correct. an IMAX feel because, this, you know, you watch The Dark Knight. Dark Knight switches between the two aspect exactly. ratios. Exactly. I like how much you can see. It's the full screen effect, It was probably right? just a better choice, too. Yeah, honestly. We actually got to film in that little thing up there. Yeah, that, that room that you saw, that hotel, they let us... There's the two coolest guys that let us film up there. Uh, hopefully they don't get fired. We this, won't... This this yeah. scene we had the camera on a tripod upside down. Dude, and classic was, move! I've done this so many times. Yeah, so it's on the tr- it's tripod. On the whole thing, the walk, he holds the thing upside down that. and then he just crops it. This was our first day of filming, actually, very first day on set with Dill, um, that you're seeing in the in the base. All right, and now wow, there's just it's watching this back. It's crazy how much stuff was shot on different days. Yeah. True. I'm kind of This day was such surprised. a success. Yes. Love this, this. This day we were concerned that we wouldn't get enough people to show and up. Honestly, and honestly, we did not have very many people, but our, we did a good no, job. No, everybody that said that they the would frame come. With, with the people that yeah, we, we had, and it made it, it made it feel... I'm very proud you know. of the people that came, you know? So, yeah, this <laughs> is our first day. Of, <laughs> no, this, that's actually some of our first shots ever. Yes. So, actually, how many people do would you say that we had? 
Oh, like, I'd we're say losing at least... people in the back. We got people walking. Trevor was in the back looking at the camera. Right, while yeah, we yeah. Were that was Doug. Um, so audio could have been better at this part because a lot of our problems in this movie were technical. Yeah, audio, and we're just not. We just. I don't think we, we just don't have the equipment. stuff like focus. We didn't have right. the, we didn't have know, lavaliers or anything like that. Right. That would have helped. Which which we're gonna tr- we're gonna try to be better. Um, yeah. in our our next couple projects going forward, whether they be feature films, short films, whatever. Right. Absolutely. And this scene is actually super cool. Like, yeah, this I, is one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Actually, I think it turned out really honest. well. There's a lot of overdubbing. That line was overdubbed. Um, the way this builds, I really like the way. Oh, this the builds. way that you, yeah, as well, it's the, it's the pacing of the movie, really. Right, it, the pacing's really well. The pacing, and you didn't plan for that at all. Right? No, no, you it's guys somehow... watched the documentary that came out today as well on Christmas. You better be watching. Um, you would know that Jack did not plan the pacing at all. No, once wow. again, some great effects by Joey Schultz. That was awesome. Um, that, that table we built with Forrest the night before. Forrest is our stepfather. Yep. And then this chair we got from the antique shop for like a dollar. You can actually catch the boom mic in the. You can catch the there. boom mic when we throw Noah down. Are we supposed to <laughs> this be scene, this scene right here with yeah, Joff. Yeah, this explode. scene with Joff right here, we actually did a <laughs> yeah, good amount of times. <laughs> yeah, no, it was. It's. I wanted to add blood on that shot <laughs> because it didn't look that. Yeah, I know. So this part was great. Like what? this whole day took so much. <laughs> what is your deal? I'm just trying is he to high right now. <laughs> talk about the movie. Um. Okay, yeah, so, so Jack actually jumped over that. <laughs> so what we're about to watch is um, we were sh- we up. shot during the parade of lights. <laughs> that was a stressful. See day. the guy in the doorway. Watch he peeks <laughs> what, out yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> they were wondering what we were doing. I've seen there. that. I pointed that out to everyone that I watched. Actually, yeah. there's a great sushi place in this. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's not what. Okay, this look, is yeah. About. So we were we did that scene a lot of times because we were worried about slipping and falling because it's pretty slippery. This is in a whole other building. But, yeah, we actually but switched. This is but it matches Luther. pretty well. This is Cole's shot that actually turned out super good. Look at Nolan esque is it? He was just standing right. under there. And so what we're about to see is we shot during the. Uh, parade of lights. Yes, they and kind of hijacked and, the parade of lights. And actually, I'll tell you quick how that came to be. I was getting a haircut, and this girl, I was talking to this girl about our movie, and she's like, "Yeah." I was like, "What are your plans for this weekend?" She's like, "Well, I'm just gonna go see the parade of lights." I'm like, parade of lights. You know what? We should make the most of that. Let's go film that. And so, because I got that haircut, this scene would not have been a thing. Which yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's um, it's kind of genius the way that you kind of you know just like put everything together like you did because. I don't know if this would have had the production value like starting off if we wouldn't have done this. Oh, this is a great way because to start the it movie, made yeah. the movie feel so grand in the start. I, exactly, that's a great way of putting it. And actually, when I, I was getting one of those drone shots, and the drone was behind a building, and and I have to use my phone to control the drone, and Ed called me, <laughs> and I couldn't see the drone, and the drone started spazzing on, and I was like, no, and then like I thought we were totally losing the drone. But yeah, everybody's Ed. like seeing us just run My around. bad guys. Yeah, because <laughs> I actually filmed that shot over the heads, and I didn't know what else Jack wanted me to film. So it was just a hectic night. You see a lot of people staring at the camera when Jack's walking through the crowd. It was a hectic night for all of us, just True. because we literally didn't know what we were doing. We were we like, okay, no, we just need to get like, chasing. Yeah. We just need to get a chase. And it definitely was not the warmest either. It was, no, it, it was cold. Yeah, so we're just running around this parade in tuxedos, like running, gun oh, with our camera. Oh, wait, wait for it, wait for it. That was actually a real reaction. It's so no, it's no, not. It's not. <laughs> that guy, Do not say that. That guy, guy is awesome. We knew that guy yeah, is awesome. a friend of his. Yeah, ran into him, and you're like, hey. Yeah. You want to so do now, this really fast? This scene, when you see me breathing hard to prepare for this, I actually ran like ladders. I ran like 20 ladders right before. That's it. right. You did do that. Yeah, and then you wanted it to be genuine. I wanted it to actually, but I I ended up faking it a little too much. I I, I wish I would have ran more before <laughs> that. And Kate actually hit his knee there in that scene on the green dumpster. If you go back, yeah, like he's holding his knee. Yeah, <laughs> he, he said it actually hurt, and he got a little scrape on his knee. And actually, while we we're filming this, there's a guy in the corner smoking a cigarette, just watching us. Remember that? Yeah. 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 And, yeah, and the thing about weird. this is, like, we had to somewhat be careful because this is in the middle of basketball season, and like, we're doing all these stunts, and we don't got like stunt doubles or anything. Oh so, like, yeah, he's one yourself. of the varsity starters. Yeah, as well. I did not want to be known as the guy that took out several of our starters for basketball. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Well, it's a good thing that you didn't. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, and plus it was their choice to be in it, so they can complain about it. By the way, where did you rip that wood from? It was literally just sitting there? It was sitting there, and, and the scene called for a pallet to be broken, 
but yeah, we didn't have a pallet. Actually, we found pallets. pallets, but they were when we came back the next day, they were gone. Yeah, that's literally we've seen pallets in that place every single time except this night of filming. Because actually, it's an axe. It's an axe throwing store, so the back of it has just a bunch of broken wood. Yeah, an and of course, store? the one yeah. night we need it, they don't have it. You know. Yeah, the luck. Yeah, the so, luck. So, so this 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 next scene here that you'll see was still on our first day of filming. Um. This here, that's our very first this, shot yeah, we first took day. with the camera. There's Dill the legend. Haha, <laughs> what a classic joke. Playing some flash games. There I am. Is this is before you got this your joke, MacBook, right? I still or cringe. That, did you have your MacBook at this point? No, not yet. I still cringe at this joke every time I hear it. No, Tony. I just enjoy stumbling out of trailer park houses and throwing whiskey bottles at the neighbors. No one ever laughs at yeah. that. <laughs> I just think, I feel like it was just a mix of bad delivery and no, it, it, audio. It, was, it, it wasn't what, bad. It wasn't delivered bad. It was just it kind just of like written poorly. Yeah, and it didn't fit the character. Yeah. We were trying to be too much like Deadpool or something like that. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Well, that was that was in the the script early on though. Right. Like, yeah, cuz I mean, then you never took it out. No, I, which was a flaw. Yeah. Wrong. <laughs> yeah, and it's not Robbie in the police force. You can see Dill's hair is fluctuating. That's also one of the reasons we we messed with the framing. You know, that's kind of why we didn't crop it. Uh, you guys filmed this stuff, these flashbacks on a day when I was sick. With this the is flu? like the one day you weren't on yeah. set. Was, was the bank was, that, scene. was this the day that I was sick with I the flu? I think so. Yeah, you had the flu, and I think it turned out really well, though. Like, Dude, I love it. I'm kind of mad that I didn't get to be there that day because this looks like a, looks like you guys. And this is actually in a church that we're filming. Yeah, this is actually a church. It's in the sanctuary on the sign. Oh man. Yeah, this is this is a church and tea. They're very kind to let us use it, even though we didn't ask them, but we did it anyways. Well, I've had permission. <laughs> there was no special effects here either. That's all really. That's all real snow. It's all real snow. It yep. was actually snowing. It was really, really snowy that day. It was. Great I montage that. I there. love that yeah, shot, great by the way. Great montage. Great. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Or and pay the price. Sorry. Yeah, we should have. Yeah. <laughs> he does. So. But only because Cyrus allows it. It's. Two years ago. We, we kind of info dumped here, not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, there's we, there's a bit of a exposition dump, but it's not as bad as it could have been. Yeah, it could have been worse. Because, you know, it's kind of like an exposition dump, but, then you're, but you're also like, he's dead. And then it's like, what? It's exactly. kind of wild. We're trying to just set the scene for the, yeah. I think this turned out really good, though, these flashbacks it's, here. For an exposition dump? Like, we like filmed that, this exact scene like three times. Have you? Did you? Yes, because I remember. Uh, no, it was twice. Yeah, twice. That's a that's I think a good that's shot. I like the coloring of that flashback though. I would say nice. I'd say it could be a little bit darker, but yeah, I, I right. understand what you're saying. Yeah, right. the color grading is a, it's kinda like an Instagram filter almost. I like yeah. it a lot. <laughs> it's like um, I got paint on my arm from work, see? Oh yeah. Look at that. I do stuck on my that. arm from work. Is, is that the one thing that you always notice when you watch that? You're like, oh, yeah. paint and then on this my was arm. a separate shot that you can kinda of tell like three months after that. Yeah, we we had to refilm so many shots. Like this, actually, in. right there, that shot is the last shot we ever filmed for yep. Six Sugar. That, that shot. out out sure oh, shot yeah, of the right. Summer Duke's base. Wow, this here was a really good day. Um, we didn't have the turnout we thought we would though, so we had to make do with like four people. It wasn't four people; it was like five, five, six maybe. Six maybe because that's any better. <laughs> but but I yeah. think that this this whole so the background music my dad made, which I'm which is super cool. Just gotta shout him out there. Uh, also, this right here could have should have been shot differently. Um, should have. I yeah, kind of regret the way that because like it doesn't like it's not even over him yet. Like we saw where his no, feet right. were. Right. Yeah, we could have planned. Well, the thing is, we were short on time because we had somebody waiting for us. That yeah, was I felt watching bad that for that dude. It was like six bad. hours of filming. Yeah. You kind of just you kind of just have to accept you know some stuff, you right. know, some flaws. This was one of the last days on set. This, this is a was great day of filming. Really actually. towards the end. Yeah, of filming. Um, and you can see throughout the clip, some clips like, or throughout the film, some clips like look choppy, you know? I don't, that was a problem with the rendering because um, iMovie just did not do it the best, and we, we had to do it through another computer. So sometimes you'll see clips that are really choppy, but. Yeah, like not quite the same frame rate as they right. should be. Yeah, but it's fine. You can live with it. You can live with it. You know, that first movie was a break. Come on, yeah, we're definitely gonna movie. avoid that for um, you know, if you're editing in Premiere for yeah. your next film, that won't be a problem. You right. Know? 
I feel this joke went underappreciated. Definitely. It was fun. It totally no one laughed at this in the theater. Yeah. It was good, though. Hey, it was we're, good. we're saying like, all these jokes that no one laughed at, but we did actually have a good audience. Granted, so. granted. These are like our kind of humor. That was know? Seinfeld-esque of you right there. Seinfeld-esque. <laughs> yeah. Our humor is whack, guys. Our we're humor is super humor. whack. Yeah, we do got whack humor, but those that appreciate it, appreciate it. That's right. I thought, first time I saw this, I thought, I'm not going to lie, I thought Levi was a really horrible actor, like, on set. I was like, <laughs> wow, that was bad. But, like, every time I rewatch it, I'm like, actually, it's, like, good. It's, I'm like, just, like, realistic. Yeah. I, I, at first, I was always like, oh, my God, he's just draining on. But, like, you actually <laughs> listen to it. Because I was just, I was just kind of be like, mean. Like, it, 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 I was being, I was being kind of mean. But, uh. You can understand what he's saying. I was just being it's, mean. Well, yeah. I mean, and, and, but we, we got to be, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. What are you saying? Okay. So, like, I was happy, like, the fil- just showing with my family of this in the theater because they were dying at this whole toilet part. But the other Everyone showings, people it. didn't really, like, think it was that funny. Yeah. <laughs> and then here I am just standing in my underwear trying <laughs> to make at this, our church, by the way. Trying to make a joke. I've got more paint on my leg, you can see there, from work, see? <laughs> and, and It does not look like paint when you're walking out of the bathroom. Huh? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. This is a PG. Yikes, Ed. Oh, my goodness. Th- this was actually really fun to <laughs> yeah. film. This was a fun one to film. Hey, cheap. I was just loading his gun in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh my god. This we filmed twice, I think, because we were having audio issues because it's so echoey. We weren't even supposed to be in all these places that we were filming. Keep Another in mind. super underrated joke. To apply in the lobby. True. Somebody brought that joke up to me the other day and I was impressed that they remembered that. Really? Like, yeah, sweet. It's fun. So we tried to do like oh, extras. World like a building, com- having cops walk yeah, by. Yeah, world building. Really smart, really smart. <laughs> That's genius. But my sleeves fluctuate. Sometimes they're half up my arm and sometimes they're all the way down. It does look like a police station, though, like a modern police station. Kind it of. Yeah, it looks like, you know, hallways in between stuff or, you know. Right. Hopefully they, they know that that's the police station. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah. In this town still run deep. overdubbing a lot of a lot of adr done in this film oh here's your haircut oh yep it changed wait for it it's gonna change again boom hey so you did a lot of adr in this yep. film right what uh, was yeah. was this, that because of the sound was initially bad because there's some because it's so echoey ad- well there's sometimes we this ADR'd. whole scene is overdubbed cole and i sat but, down no and this whole scene isn't there's one line one line and you can easily tell because it's, it's like you very can echoey tell, yeah. yeah yeah true you should have overdubbed it but the overdubbing sounds so good it was one of the few good it, it lines up really good that's surprising how well we did for that yeah, and you can hear the ambience in the background because I was like trying to take clips you know, and I, uh, somehow piece them together. But I, that's what he was talking about. I like that that cop. There's, there's Fat Ed. That's <laughs> me. You know, son, this town is going to hell in a handbag. Yeah, this scene. This is where. How do you know him? So Les yeah, was our know, you know state Les? basketball bus driver when we drove to Rapid City in, in the very beginning of 2018, and somehow I connected with him on Messenger and asked him if he wanted to be in the movie, and he was totally in, which I was not surprising, and he did great. Dude, he's ecstatic to be in our next films. Oh, yeah. And he's, he's he really he's wants to. Keeps he up really wants to Facebook. be. It's so does, it's so yeah. funny and random though. Like our bus driver. Bus from driver, from junior people. year state basketball yeah. ends up in our movie. Yeah. And everybody loves him. He's such a good guy. Pretty great role, too. Boom. That's the line. Yep. And then yeah, you're, and then and then you're yeah, like, that's what? Messed up. Yeah. Yeah. It was our first film. So yeah. there's another there's there's Bible another verse. one of the, you know, sticking in the, the Bible stuff in yep. the church. So trying to trying to sprinkle that throughout the movie. Was that initially what you were trying to do or was it kind of an afterthought? No, it was initially kind of the goal. But were you just kind of like trying to hide it or like, like Um I was trying to not it in, I don't know. I was trying to make it so that once you realized it, then you kind of got it throughout the whole movie, you know what I mean? Like so it's not like blatantly obvious, but it's a great way. This Anderson-esque. shot here, this shot, this drone shot, I did three times by myself because it did not work. The SD card was broken the first two but times. It was so worth it. It I was believe. so worth it for that shot, though. And then Cole and I did these city shots. Here's some world building here. World building. Yeah. But yeah, I've noticed that you know once you notice the 
the undertones, the Christian undertones and stuff, the religious undertones, it's really hard to not see It is. And and that's kind of the baseline for the whole movie. You know, like, this scene, okay, this scene, the Garfield scene is great. (laughs) This actually did get a good reaction. Oh, yeah. Some people thought it was really dumb. Garfield is a. Uh, I don't really like Garfield IRL. Done. I wasn't done yet. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, like yeah, this scene's good, but then the entire talking scene after that is just an exposition dump of Frankie's character. Like we should not have. And honestly, I truly believe that it was not a good idea to put Frankie in this like city, like living here, that background. Now that I think about it. Because you know how he says, like, his father owned the shop three roads down or yeah. whatever. Yeah, I just, I feel like that's not Frankie's character. Why do you think so? Because, like, like, he's, he, he does missions all around the world. And, yeah. I'd say He is international, but this is his hometown, yeah. which is why he's dealing with but it. But if you think about it, he's never brought this up until now. But, yeah, I think this, this scene kind of takes away some of the mystery of Frankie, which is a good and bad thing, you know? Yeah, um, I guess I kind of agree. Because Robbie gives off a very hometowny vibe, you know. For he's like, sure, for he's sure. Like the police chief and everybody respects because him, but he's only like locally known. People. And then right. Frankie's like, you know, like this big, like it looks like if FBI came here, exactly. You know, it's, it's yeah. kind of gave like a feeling like that. Yeah, and it's unfortunate. Um, we we could have thought that through. Um, you know, character development, who the characters actually were. You know, I remember this day we had a lot of Mackenzie River pizza. That was good. Oh, actually, no, this, this is a different dialogue, day. Sh- yeah, actually, this shot, these shots we shot, it was just me and Jack. Um, and we so had to film, bad, oh, bad. listen to this. We had to film this whole scene twice because we had to get from both angles. Angles, see, because we have one camera, so we had to keep no, putting it. You said have two cameras. We had one camera. One and camera. Then, and when we started filming this, this guy walked up to us and asked us what we were doing here. And this scene, though, here, that is what you're talking this about. This switches days. I am shocked to this day how we did not get caught. Because notice all the guns and the paraphernalia we have and on And every us. time we go back to this area nowadays, we see, like, cops driving around. Oh, yeah. like We got so This is literally right in the middle insane. of the city of Sioux Falls. And we had zero permission to be here. It was kind of a dead day, so I think that was what kind of helped. Yeah. There was not a lot of traffic this day. For sure. We got really lucky, though. Oh, yeah. Where are the Dukes working? Overdub. Was this middle of the summer, or was this... No, there's snow on the ground. Yeah, this is a decent way into the film, I think. Cause we also filmed some of Noah's fight scenes today. This is oh, Joey's great animation here. But it also wasn't really cold. I don't remember it being extremely cold. It wasn't too cold. No, it's a little chilly. I remember. Yeah, we could have we could have overdubbed this scene when Jack runs to the oh, car. Oh, we should have. Sure. But I don't think it's worth it because the line isn't that. Funny. Look at Joey's animation. Wow, so good. All the time. All the time. Like, oh, why wouldn't I? I'm a cop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, what, kind of a, what kind of a question is we're, that? So then he asked, what are we doing? And I said, we're playing bingo at the nursing home. What does it look like? Like, what is the point yeah, of that? So no, we, that? We do have some cringy that line dialogue. Have, like, any, we're just trying like, to make importance. Frankie a smart ASS and try to, but that's not really what we should have gone for, I don't think. No, because okay. that's not his character. It's you know? not. When I was writing it, I had just seen Deadpool. Again. That would have been a great line for Robbie to say, though. True. So I feel like Robbie, you know... He, he kind of has a sense of entitlement, even though... There's there's a bit of cockiness there. Yeah. I think this is Jalen's second death now. There's Jalen right there in the blue. He got shot in the first scene. My mom was complaining that there's too much blood there. <laughs> really? Yeah. Love you, Ma. Love you, Ma. <laughs> I don't no, think yeah. there was enough. Sorry, yeah, Ma. I don't think there was enough. <laughs> no, this is Noah filming now, and this was all one take. And Originally, it was all one take. All, originally, all one take, and honestly, he captured everything. He did really, 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 well. really good with that. Thank you, Noah. Yes, thank you. Love you, Noah. <laughs> Love you, babe. And there's actually uh, Willie's car in the back, right? Yep, it's that's Willie's car. We Love had quite a few people there on set that day and how do we not get caught with what you just saw like there's no know. way it's insane i was tr- every time i watch this it's um it's a little annoying because i my my character kind of like already knows everything you know i, I wasn't super into it that day because i was worried about you know getting caught and stuff right. like that yeah so you're like well what about the car and i'm already like well what about the car yeah like, like physically like my body's like yeah like you're going <laughs> to the car yeah. so <laughs> this I is actually a great shot i thought this scene. jesse killed this scene 
Actually, he got killed in the scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Yeah. Like he's yeah. not much of an actor, but what he gave us here. I just feel like this role, this role fitted him. Well. I just the one thing I don't like about this scene is I wish we would have had better audio for it so it sounded better. You for know? sure. Um, I had a tough time with the music for this scene too, because. I think they might know where we're working. But yeah. What do you mean he had a tough time with the music? Like what specifically like, about like, it? I wanted like, music that was like edgy. You know, that made you feel on edge, but at the same time you could hear the characters. Because that's the problem with not having good audio, you know? Right. Since we didn't have vocals I separate. Think, I mean, I think you made it work. Yeah, we, we sure. did the best we could. I think this scene is super cool. The only downside was that we couldn't light the cigar inside the church. Because this is, again, inside we a church. We could have, but there were people there that day. I yeah. remember that. They tried opening the door at one point. True. While we were lighting this the cigar. This shot, though, is Mint. Mint. Mm. Oh, imagine if we would have had the focus on that on yeah. right too. So I did all the yeah, shots of the, cig yeah. the cigar burning and lighting. I did all those shots separately in my garage <laughs> by myself with the it tripod. Looks so good though. So we had to try to like clip the edge of the cigar out, but it would have been more cinematic with smoke in the room. But whatever, you know. That's in my garage. <laughs> Yep. And, uh honestly we didn't really like know if we were supposed to cut off the end of a cigar to light it or not. So it was kind of messy, but Yeah, we are newbies to smoking to, and cigars. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. We're not I don't think, big cigar I don't fiends, I, don't, I guess. I think I was eighteen. I think Noah was eighteen at the time too. Noah was on set with us that day, wasn't he? No, that right here? No. This, Cade was. This, Cade's turn. Cade turns. was. Yeah. I think like me and Kate. Does that snow look real to you guys? No, not at all. No, yeah. I'm sorry that I'm sorry that always kind of bugged me. Yeah, it's, there's this just is all one shot. A lot though. of technical stuff about this film. They that, said that we learned about. Love this shot though. And it was randomly packed, and I did not want this to be packed at all. But it was randomly packed on. It was like a Tuesday night. It worked really well. Somehow, being, I guess. Well, for yeah, for the they, bar though. I mean, like it's good that the that the the. There's my dad in the background. The one room that we actually shot in wasn't relatively yeah. packed. There's like a couple people in there. So if they're watching closely, they'll notice that he's he doesn't have an arm in his sleeve. It's because he's the same guy who got shot in the shoulder earlier. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, okay. It's not like he's armless. Right. Because yeah. a lot of people at first so were like, what's what? Why is this? <laughs> that's good continuity. Yeah. You know, it's good. Well, I, except for the fact that he got shot in the left shoulder and he's has his right shoulder sleeved up. Yeah, and I yeah. wish I wish <laughs> I really wow. wish the audio was better at this. Terrible acting here. I'm joking. I love you, Wyatt. <laughs> Look at you, ketchup all over your ketchup all over your hands, licking them. Yeah, it's just a little piggy in this shot. <laughs> so they call me piggy at oink oink. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me eat away. I'm fat. I know. Jeez, Ed. You and then okay? this scene was just garbage, this too. This scene is Are trash. Okay? This scene is absolute trash. We should have just taken this out This of entire movie. commentary track is just us realizing how bad our film is. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just over glorifying the good parts and just ripping apart the bad parts. Yeah. That's true. And me this, saying way too edgy is, stuff. That scene is so <laughs> dumb. You know how many times it freaking took us No, to because we had we finally got the right shot and then somehow it wasn't recorded. Then we made a semi-racist Indian joke in here. Like, I don't know why we had to do that. It's not <laughs> racist. And like, look at Frank. He's like wearing an Under Armour sweatshirt and then he like changes right here. Like he's not it's wearing his Dill's hair is well, not Well, and that long. also look, took us Frank so many wearing... times to shoot because we were trying to improv it in the elevator and we kept laughing. That's a nice shot though. I really like that. Shot. Yeah, I like your gunslings. Thank you. We need to get a oh, more but then expensive you take, one. Then they're now off you're wearing a short sleeve shirt. It's because <laughs> they broke. They broke in between shots. And then I've, sometimes I have a beard. Sometimes I don't have a beard. There's that just a, a lot joke. of That's a good issues. joke that That's nobody really joke. gets. I, I, Captain, that was a good one. I'm a fan. If they were working out of tons, my men would have known by Look at our lights. You can see our film lights. You keep forgetting lights. that your own uh, cops are corrupt, Robbie. Using tons, huh? The freaking eyebrow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the eyebrow, the eyebrow. I always do. Silver Ditch are masters of deception. Masters of deception. Roller shop, shout out to Roller Shop. Yeah, I want and that's my dad's band. Go okay, look it up. So iTunes and YouTube. Look at the lamp. We're just our lighting is crazy in this. Yeah, we did not need that much. The like focus good. was off there in a shot too. I like this montage though. It's a nice little montage. And it's actually kind of raw at the end when Cole laughs. That just shows that we're still having fun on set. Exactly. Yeah, why'd you leave that in? I, I, I thought it could work both as breaking the fourth wall and 
in the movie it could work, you know? I don't think it worked as either. <laughs> I'll be completely honest with you. I so you never liked that I scene? was kind of like, why did you keep the laughing? So Honestly, no, the more that I think about it, we should... No, I like the scene, but like no, but how that it shot, ends. You've never liked that? How it ends with me laughing. Yeah. Film is art, Cole. You need to understand that. <laughs> yeah, Tarantino will have done the same thing. Okay, <laughs> no, we wouldn't. Oh, this scene is my favorite. This whole sequence from here until the end of the car chase is my favorite sequence in the whole movie. Well, and I could even throw in the okay, interrogation wait, sequence. Watch where Connor is. Yeah, okay. honestly. All right. Okay. He turns around, and all of a sudden, now he's over there. He is. Yep. <laughs> Big girl. Teleported. Teleportation. Teleportation. It works. This Cash. shot's good. Love it. I, I delivered so, this. So yeah, this was the day we had like five people, but we had to make it look like a lot. So we would like change jackets with each other and like trade each other's clothes to make it look like there was different goons there. It worked. And it looks like it's a warehouse full of people, honestly. Yeah. There's at least seven people there because you're filming. There's like. Five people surrounding. Even Ed. Cole. There's Cole. <laughs> yeah, look, there I am. As a good That's a fun That's, shot. I love that. Nobody laughed at that. That was a really, I thought that was really funny. The yeah, I, I guess we're out. just, we're a lot less funny than we think, I guess. Well, I we think gotta people, really plan out. Yeah, we just know. blame it on people not having a sense of humor. Yeah. When our jokes <laughs> you know, suck. You know, everybody, you know, just hates our jokes it's just because they're inferior. Yeah, and, they don't know. Yeah, oh, this scene, better, that shot, that shot where Willie hits the wall, Cole's getting pushed back on a dolly. That's right, yeah. Yeah. That was lit. I forget the intricacies of some of these shots. Oh, yeah. We actually did we had that work. toss so much to Noah for the thing. Yeah, how many times bat? do you think you did oh, that? Probably four. No, it was like five or six. Oh, the actual, you hear you hear me in the background go, yeah, and then it gets cut, and yeah. we go, yeah. yeah. In the original, I go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These, these days in this hallway were so hot. It was two different Sweaty. days, and this was in a college. This was in a college, but our stepmom is um, on like the college board, so she knows. There's my. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> there's my. Uh, there's my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think that this. You can see me take my hand off and like point to like keep going. <laughs> but. Yeah. Why did you do that? And then there's Shell's arm in yeah, the you back. You can see an arm peeking out in the back. And then there's Conan. And I think that turned out, this scene turned out pretty all right, you know? Sometimes I look at it and I think it's awful, but sometimes I look at it and I'm like, it's pretty all right. Listen, for He's what wearing we Caleb had, Graves' black, brass knuckles there. For what we had, you can't deny it's, True. Like, it's decent. And this is our first fight scene we filmed in the movie. This is like our maybe first, second week on set. This is a oh, great yeah. scene, I thought. Like, the fight moves are really good. I still good. remember the music we were listening to on the way here, even though that has really not much to do with it. What was it? It was XXX Tentacion. Really? Yeah, because Connor was playing it. Actually, this wasn't a couple weeks into shooting because I was actually going to STI. I remember that, yeah. yeah. This scene is good. So this people was got, maybe a people couple appreciated this joke, I think. Oh, a lot oh, of people loved, loved this, this joke. Yeah. Probably the best one that landed the best of the movie. And, and I didn't think that they would get the whole carpet thing and pushing me down the stairs. I think they got it. Yeah. I think they got it. It's just kind of a random thing to add in, but whatever. You know? Well, I mean, there's no way for you to move them otherwise. God, that's that's real sweat. You are. It's real sweat. It's hot in there. It's an airsoft gun. No, it's a BB gun, Jack. BB gun, yeah. And this is in a completely other building in a completely different town. Okay, so explain why you... So this is one element that you brought back from the original Slick Trigger. Right. This right? happens in episode eight. So why... Did you decide to bring that specifically back? I just because thought, it's not like it's not like a super highlighted moment from the original series when you think back about right. it. So so the whole idea of finally catching Cyrus and then unmasking him and it's like a good guy that Cyrus had like gotten into too late. I thought that was really dramatic and I thought I thought it was really that cool. That could fit in here too, yeah. And and I think it works really well. I think it works better in this than it did in the original series. I agree, right. Because it happens kinda early and it's kinda like, oh, all right, but yeah. wait. Oh, now it's like starts with like a bunch of drama right. instead of it happening late. It shows you how Cyrus is kind of a master of uh, trickery. Yeah, it Trick. gives a lot. It shows a lot about Cyrus. Exactly. I I really like this whole scene here. I think these guys did really good at at. It's a, this, it, we didn't make it very we didn't make it obvious enough that that one goon was having trouble with his gun though I don't think right yeah and there's an upcoming scene where Justin like swings a bat Jack's head and it was so close to hitting him in the face it was insane and I know he had soccer practice later in the day look there's Ron in the window yep Ron <laughs> yeah we had soccer practice later in the day so we had to rush this scene a little bit 
I like this. This joke is so good. Nobody, nobody got ever it. laughs at it. It's Everyone's so just inferior. Yeah, nobody <laughs> gets it. No one understands our jokes. Gets us. I like that though. You're right. You, know, you just pop them. This bat was so close to hitting me. In yeah, the this head. is insane right there. If Oof. you pause that, it look. It, it's crazy. This is a good. Joke I love this. Nobody. I love the music switch. Yeah. Frank? It's an Elvis playing in the background. That, so when we were shooting that, I actually didn't even know that those two scenes were connected, because it was like two thirds into filming when I realized right. like what stuff was connected and uh -huh. stuff. So I was literally like, "Why are you?" We filmed this so out of sequence. Yeah, so out of sequence. This was filmed so much later. And now I have a jacket on. Yeah, and the car is somehow still outside. And there's the warehouse, but it flows really well. I think like I, this car chase honestly is so good. I think. It flows about as well as it could have, honestly. Like, it just, like, that shot. I don't know oh how that looks Oh, my God, so that good. looks so good. You know what I mean? We were actually just whipping around downtown Hey, how did we not get pulled over for this? Nice. Well, we're actually behind the building. And now... And there's our beautiful aunt. There's Aim. Great Roll joke. Aim. Aim is awesome, guys. She loves you golf. You should have gone golfing, Aim. She's not the best at it. I'm joking, Aim. I love Aim. you. Aim, you're the best golfer I know. This shot is so good. Let me reload something that that's like, it crazy. looks like we're going fast, doesn't it's it? It's crazy, yeah. I was just that was so like the filming the dialogue in the car was always strenuous because like we didn't have the just outside window. I'm shot. literally just like going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I wasn't shooting aiming. at anything. I was like shooting. Yeah, at Joey and I were editing that, and Joey's like, "What's he aiming at here, bud?" <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know which direction to point the gunshot. <laughs> I was literally just like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go through the alley. Oh, this scene is so cool. Love it. It's just such like a good setup. The shot of Ed you being out of the car. You should have doing ADR for Ed. I think this lie. is the most BA scene, like when Ed gets out of the car. Like it shows Savan's power, powerful character. Sure. There's Ern and Jalen. Ern. Ern's a ledge. Ern's a ledge. And look, Jaylen's like the cars ledge. that go on the street there transitions perfectly into that. It's just oh, yeah. Mucho goose. Look, Beard. I think it'll be nice. No treated, beard. Oh, treated, I never noticed keep, that. You should have just kept scruff. <laughs> Why is it is it weird that I never noticed that? Oh, I remember it's, we were filming this detail oriented as I that, thought. That, I was. <laughs> so this is actually a uh, we were filming like a bar alley, like a bar and grill, and a worker actually walked out while we had all these guns. Yeah, we have no permission to be doing any of this stuff. Oh, quicker, we're filming just walked it's out finest. Like, hey, threw yeah. thing away. <laughs> he walked back inside. Yeah. So you should have you kept ADRing him. Yeah, audio for real. for sure. For real, for real, for real. But, but I mean, for the most the part, actually pay attention to the audio. Why did he go into the Irish accent? What was the point of the grab a pint? Because that grab a pint. That's the joke. That's a like a. It's it a good joke. Is it a good one? It? It's all right, isn't yeah. it? It's pretty all right. I love that shot. I love so him. good. Poor Ern. That's a good. Love that. Oh. And then pull up on this you. Is, this bam. is a real siren in the background. I love this whole shot. We're in the dudes. We filmed that a lot, I remember. Me kicking the gun out of your hand. Yeah, and the guy, like and, three times. And like some of them I just start kicking you and beating you. <laughs> it's a real siren in the background. I love the siren cut too. That's awesome. How just it just cuts to straight, the Yeah, the straight up sound cut. Yeah. Some people probably thought the movie was broken though since it like... Yeah, a lot yeah, of people were like, that was an odd cut. Is, that, did it break? Is that the end? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming. Oh my goodness, this scene. This scene. So in the documentary, cool I actually talk about how rough this day on set oh, was. Oh yeah, yeah. For me specifically. I th so this is in the basement of my mom's work, right where um, we edit with Joey. Right down the hall is where we edit with Joey. Look at the lighting. Look at the colors. Oh yeah, this is some great color greening. Got so. It's not even color greening. It's just the way that the work location. is. Yeah. Also, what what are your thoughts on me voicing Cyrus in this film? You did so good at Cyrus. I like so like you throughout the whole movie. Like you can hear Cole doing Cyrus, and it sounds so good. And then I try to do it because like Cole wasn't there that day, and it sounds like trash. <laughs> I feel like um, it would have definitely given away who Cyrus actually was if we would have used said person. True. I mean, I'm sure you guys. Yeah. Know. Can we just spoil it? Well, if they're watching the commentary, check okay. it. So Dylan, you could have definitely told us his voice. So I'm glad that we chose Cole to do the voice. The one thing, the one downfall is that the earrings, the transition from this scene into the next scene is the earrings. But it's an Easter egg, see? Oh, yeah, you can see his earrings right there. I never, yeah. 
So you're saying so you kind of know that it's Tony, but whatever. Unless you're dumb. I'm joking. I didn't know I'm either. Well, I didn't know, but like if I was in not in my shoes. Do you I think that this uh, reveal landed? I think it totally did. There's some people that told me that they were going back and forth. They didn't really know who it was. Yeah, I watched. I watched this with my pals again, of like probably a month after it released from theaters, and none of them could tell, could guess who it was until the reveal. So really, was, yeah. Do you think fun. the That's reveal good. of him killing? Robbie, him, he was actually the one who killed Robbie's dad. So, yeah, I don't think a lot of people get what actually happened. So, like, there's this rumor that Cyrus was killed by Switchblade. Right. And so Switchblade is the new guy in town. But Cyrus wasn't the guy that was killed. Cyrus and Switchblade are the same person. His dad right there is the one that was actually killed. And I think some people got that. And they celebrated that as a moment of transition because the, at that point that's when they tr- that's when they started to kind of mess with the police force and stuff You're exactly. here's my question for you guys do you guys think that the the non-landing of that little plot point is because of uh, expedition dump maybe or is expedition it, dump or would you say it's just because it wasn't executed as well dialogue wise uh, I just don't think it was explained as yeah, well as it could Yeah, it wasn't explained. Been. It could have been explained better. Yeah, because it definitely wasn't exhibit. Oh, I hate that animation. Job. That was my own animation from oh. iMovie, and it looks like crap. But that was great acting by Cole right Thank there. you. I really put myself in a rough spot that day. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, this is my favorite shot. Probably that looks so good. one of my favorite shots in the whole movie. The falling over was taken in two separate shots. I did that actually yeah. too. Yeah. I was still handcuffed and yeah. I just went for it. Yeah, twice. Didn't you we like do it yeah, 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 we did twice, right? Yeah, because we only had one camera. <laughs> the tongue. Are you laughing the at the tongue? tongue? It gives me choked. every time. Why don't you guys tell me so then we yeah, can do it weird. again? Cole weird. says that this is the most underappreciated joke in the movie. It is. Good job, Ed. It's because you can't it. hear him. He says my insulin levels are low. But honestly, sludge. I do think that that is the like the most underrated joke of the entire film. It is. I just wish you could hear it. That's probably the problem. Yeah, why it's underappreciated. For, sure. for real. Oh, there's oh, Cyrus. The beast, earrings. Dude. The earrings. For people who actually noticed that, I'm sure. Like, like if you actually like pick that out, the go first become a time, police officer and investigate. I'm sure they're gonna be like, "What yeah. is him?" And yeah. they, like that's kind of like a subtle. Like I know we didn't mean to do it at all, yeah. but like if you catch that, that's like it's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. This the, the makeup looks pretty all right too. It's not really makeup; it's just food coloring, but it looks pretty all right. See, I don't see why Frankie. Why wouldn't he just, if he, like, wants to go back, why I don't get why he would have been like, what about Frankie? Okay, yeah, let's leave. And then he gets there, and he's like, oh, wait, what about Frankie? You mean Robbie? Or what about, yeah, yeah, what about Robbie, you know? True, like, they like, had to go on a whole car ride back. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, the entire car ride, he's not like, maybe we should go back. What about Robbie? And then, he, and then he walks in, and he's like, actually, yeah, we should go back and get yeah. Robbie. All right, I, love, I love your no, acting he, he, in this. I love your acting. Thank you. Also, but I, th- I think no, it. he had to go back to the bank to the place to get his guns. He That's had guns. right. Yeah. Well, and if you see, also, Lard, also, hair was why cut. Why didn't you just stick on my eyes in that shot? It looks so awkward. What? It looks so <laughs> awkward that like my mouth's in the frame. You should have stayed <laughs> on my eyes. <laughs> okay. I don't know. This is like this is also one of the very first days of filming. This was part of that eight-hour film day. Yeah. When, in the hot, sweaty room. That this sucked. was the second half of filming. And Connor fell on the table and hurt himself really <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, I'm giving him crap. And he's like, Ed, shut up. He got really mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't know why we have the CSGO knife on there. Yeah. Yes. And then Ed started like smearing that blood around on the table and it looks like really fake blood now. <laughs> my bad. My bad. <laughs> Honestly, well, that's kind of my fault too because I was helping Ed. Yeah. Did, did we <laughs> get all those? You know, we work yeah, we Where did we get all those knives from? Uh, they were in the kitchen of the church. Thank you, kitchen of the church. By Thank the you, way. Kitchen, Thank of the you kitchen of the church. By the way, a lot of this movie is filmed in different churches. That joke did not land at all. <laughs> the apple. The apple. <laughs> it no lands with some people. That. It lands with some the people, people that we want. But like, Once again, that's our wacky, wacky humor, by it, guys. Right. The music just not fitting. Oh my goodness! So there's the take of this. 
You killed my Such, effing father. That was, that was my favorite yeah, line. That's one of the other takes that we did of this. The R-rated version has um, killed my effing father. And none of us were expecting it. I think it was just Cole and Ed that knew that yeah, he was going to well, say that. Ed was like, Cole, I was like, Ed go was all like, out, buddy. Ed was like, hey, drop an F-bomb. <laughs> just between me and him. Yeah. And then Jack was like talking to someone else. And then he turns to me and he goes, okay, you ready? Yeah. And we go, yeah, all right. You killed my evil. And then every day, uh, the and room Jack gets silent. Like, ha, 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 ha. Can you do that again? Yeah. <laughs> no, room, no, I remember the room got silent, and Jack was like, "Whoa." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but everybody's like, "Wow, that was really." It was. It was. Oh if you God. listen to it, it's actually really good. <laughs> I love the then why. <laughs> the then why. And then really he touches work, his face. <laughs> <laughs> What were some of the points of some of that? I don't get it. Yeah, we're just, he was just weird. trying to make it like the Joker, like when he grabs people's faces. You yeah, know? He's, like, he's like, oh, you're so pretty. But yeah, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> Switchblade isn't dudes. like that at all. <laughs> no, this part it's here. Just two dudes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what <are you> <laughs> no, he does it to the pig guy, too. Yeah, so that's, that's different, though. Yeah, I guess. I'm basically talking to myself. Let's see. And right here, whoa! This next scene right here, he's walking away. We had him; he wasn't even talking because we knew that we were gonna do it. And right here, it's it's you can right. You see me holding the phone in the shadow. I I wish I could have, I wish I could have redone that. Where I'm like, I would. How can you call this anything but evil? Not anything but evil. Like right. I put the emphasis on the wrong word. But no, you're right. Yeah, and this Bill wasn't even right talking. Here, right wasn't there. even talking. He's like, you know what? Yeah, just go back and forth. We're gonna dub it anyway. But we should have had him talk because it would have made the scene flow better. Yeah, for That's sure. Awful. That shot's good. Look, you, and you could actually see his lips moving and right. actually lined up with the words. It did. Yeah. It works with that one too. It does. Almost. Somehow. Kind of. Somehow. Sometimes. Also, no one told me the eyebrow man. It's all about that eyebrow. It's all about that eyebrow. Okay, I think this whole sequence is really good, honestly. It's that, yeah, these, yeah, for sure. I think that with Dill, too, that looked really good. It does, because this is later on in filming. We got exponentially better at filming as we went. For sure. We this were was, learning about stuff, yeah, yeah. lighting. And, this and was later on in filming. Also, you sped that up. <laughs> so, oh, it's yes. so obvious that it was so sped up. fast, way too fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this scene was fun. It was so cold that day. Another it one was on cold freezing days. that day. That was a, a bit of an awkward line delivery from Dill. Not gonna. It's okay, Dill. It wasn't your fault. I feel like it was kind uh, of an awkward line in the first yeah, place. People just Those don't get it. Those are corrupted police. Yeah. But I feel, like, I feel like in this scene, I feel like in this scene, Frankie's moral compass is kind of fluctuated because he just beats some guys up for he's, no reason. Well, no, because he has to get into the police office because yeah, he has to also, rescue Robbie. Also, understand if Robbie's, just Robbie's by supposed now, you to know? be like a yeah, he's supposed to be like a so like his moral compass is agent. definitely fluctuated. You know, sometimes I do think his anger is is playing into the fact that you know he could probably sneak by of these people and take them out relatively silently or non-violently yeah There's but this kooky. scene this scene is really cool because we really wanted to show how like twisted the goons were oh you know yeah what I, mean? I yeah it worked you did really I well th writing this yeah. i think there that security camera i think uh, Big Gare. There's Gare and Ed. Ed's playing a goon, so I had to lower their voices so they couldn't tell who it was. It was so echoey in there. So echoey. Yeah, we should, have, we should have dubbed that over. Yeah. Didn't we say that we were going to dub it over, too? We did, actually. And I love how earlier in the... See, that scene's cool. Oh. I love how earlier in the movie we were talking in this very chamber, and now they're just shooting around in it. Like, it's nothing, you know? And this, this is where we had, like... I don't know. It's kind yeah, of, it's the uh, world building. You know, you're going yeah. back to places that are familiar. It's symbolic. Yeah, it's symbolic. That's low key dope. But it's got a whole new feel now. High key dope. And then there's actually a symbolic scene here after this. <laughs> what did I say right after this shot? That oh. penny drop was awesome. It's right in the middle. Didn't you I said, like, like didn't effing I, mint or I something like, like that? I was like freaking mint. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's so good. It was so good. And then Gare did a really good job. I thought it was so cold. And we were though. trying to figure out what you do. You're like, what do you shoot him? Well, no, because I'd alert other people. And I was right. like, what if you like pistol yeah. whipped him? Yeah, which was perfect. Yeah. And then you'll perfect. see him set a, set him across from Gare, and like that's a dead cop, and Gare's across from it, and it show him walking the line between good and evil as he walks between them. So symbolic. Wow, I didn't even think about that. And how what happened to him happened to the guy that he did that. We had to go back and film me dropping my sweatshirt just so it would be continuous with this. Then, but your coat's changed anyways. Yeah, so like nobody would even notice anyways, but who cares? This, 
this atmosphere was pulled straight from like uh, Arkham Origins. I really wanted it to be like a overthrown. Right, because in Arkham Origins, if you guys played that game, you do go into the police station while it's trashed. It's such a good yeah, game. Yeah, and it's like it's like so. This is where the police are. The the one th source of like some sort of justice, but it's completely overthrown, and they're just playing Christmas music. And it's kind of like they're this, just chilling. This apocalyptic feel almost. This was my first day as uh, Savant, so I didn't really know how my character should be. I ended up dressing him like an idiot. Well, this is this is really early on in filming. This Yeah, so I mean, obviously I learned a lot through Savant sequence. from this scene. I should not have worn that white shirt. I'm just, it's so cool how... Is that Ern again? That's Bodie. Oh, that's Bodie. Okay. And Mason. Mason. His gun looks so real. It Honestly, one of the staples of the film. It is. I love that shot. The chair His just stops awesome. perfectly. I think this whole scene, I'm shocked. Like, this looks like we filmed it later on in the movie because yeah. of how good this turned out. But this was, like, one of the very first days. This was the first day in that in that location. And yeah, there'd be, like, a few small things that I would change. But, like, overall, this is one of the best scenes in the entire movie. I would agree. I would totally agree. I think that mirror adds a lot. Oh, definitely. I think it should have been in a close-up, though, just to kind of really sell that that was what was supposed to be being right. focused on, you know? Right. How'd you get from one point to the other, Jack? From what? From behind there to Tom. Oh, yeah. It's teleporting. <laughs> you teleporting know, he's a secret agent, so, you know, he has Jaylen. ways. Jalen is such a thug. Look at him. Yeah, at he's a beast part. in this. Look at him. I love that shot. So right here, does... Is that that's Trevor, right? Yep, there's Trevor again. Did he yell "Hey" or "Bang"? Hey. Yeah, I thought he yelled "Hey." Because uh, I'd say those two were the most like helpful in the oh, whole movie. Yeah. They were always like driving. And Noah, and don't forget about Noah. I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so let's take let's course. take this time to shout out some yeah. few people. This fight scene looks so good. Trevor honestly. Cox. Don't you guys think Noah this fight Friedel. scene looks really yeah, good? Yeah, it's a great fight scene. Jalen Whiff. I use the same um, sound effect like 12 times in different Those pitches. are probably the main three that I would say. Cade Stearns. Cade Stearns killed it the Dude, entire yeah. time. And, and and sometimes it wouldn't even be like in the film. Like we just need them to drive, you know, and just like. Small stuff. Yeah, small stuff. This scene, I'm, I'm, I have to admit, there's some confusion. I feel like, even for me, like should have been shot differently, yeah, in my opinion, yeah. too. We also tried to do it in one shot because we were kind of like, like it's weird how he's just chilling in that room while the fight's going on. You I know had a little I mean? bit of a cold here, and Ed thinks I sound like Mark Ruffalo at this part. <laughs> so I was just listen to it. So random, but I, I can see it. I guess. Good and bad. Okay. Good and bad. Yeah, what was the Good and bad? And bad. <laughs> what was the and bad? What was the bad? You killed my freaking men, bro. <laughs> Dude, you freak yeah, they were Dude, goons, but yeah, jeez, they were stuff. some cops. My, it's like, well, bro, you're, 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 my eyebrows are got it, like, dude, you littered my freaking police station with dead you bodies. You killed what a, am I you, supposed to do? You with killed them? a police officer. This shot too. This shot oh, though. Right? <laughs> the the mirror. That's me, me doing sound. You're natural. Yeah, that's me trying to <laughs> this, this is scene. a great scene, I thought. Oh, I love this day. Like Jack Reacher. Yeah, we got this off of Jack Fake Reacher. cigarette, guys. Fake cigarette, right but he was not smoking. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> say he might have had a little buzz. Buzz from Okay, what? he was vaping, all right? He yeah, was vaping. Okay, he was, we're all adults so, here. Yeah, we're all adults here. He was 18 he was at 18. the time, so it was perfectly legal. And, and, and it was so... You said buzz like, he, think, like he was drinking alcohol. Yeah, like, yeah. how does that... No, yeah. So, like, this year, we, we... It was super windy out, and it was hard to get good audio, but... Like this uh, editing, this audio was a nightmare. And a lot of people didn't get that like radio that. thing that happened. Jack explained that. Uh, Frankie was listening into their conversation through their wires. Yeah, but how did he have the wire? Why did he have the wire on? Because he's an old cop, and Frankie's listening into the police scanners. Oh, okay. And Noah looks like a thug at this part. Alex did so good in this. He did. I actually, the first time I saw this, I actually tensed up a little bit because it got so close to his ear. That was an actual knife. Yeah, that was a real thing. knife. We should, probably should have used a fake one, but we, we were going on. Like, look how close he gets to his ear there. It's insane. Yeah, you can kind of hear the cracking of his ear. He's like, I wish we would have had a little bit of blood run down. Yeah, I wanted, the, I wanted there to be He said, ain't blood. that a shame? 
because Cole had been Ain't playing that song that for us. Ain't that a shame. So we want to just put that. And then that was Noah that did the drift up in the car because I couldn't get it down. Oh, so you didn't include a shot, but there was originally we were like, well, like he would still have bullets and Jack just ran out. So like, what would he do? He wants to fight now. So we shot. We did shoot a, a really quick shot where he unloaded into the sky. Mm hmm. And then yeah. afterwards, like you were editing it, and we were like, "Yeah, I don't know if that quite fits his character. He wouldn't do that. He right, would just yeah. fight him if he wanted to." Yeah, true. So that so then we get into this fist fight, which is a lot of people said that this is different. I roll over Noah's head here and hurt his ear really bad. I do believe that Noah's character is very underrated. Oh, look at this shot right here, though. Oh, so, so good. Cinematic. The Minty. ten nine eight seven. I don't know why, but that just adds a lot. Oh yeah, that's cool. And I think this fight scene looks really, really like. Noah did so good because both of us were like, you guys are throwing such close hits. Oh, I love, I love that. I love that. Boom. Yeah, the so head. Good, Freaking, oh. He's disoriented. Nah, disoriented. So he throws haymakers, which is, I think that's a cool touch. Notice how each fight scene, there's, there's like, the like right after the beginning, you're like, there's like a solid 30 seconds of you just like out of breath. And then after yeah. the fight scene with Khan, you're like, Woo! And then yeah. like that's it. And then that you're literally, <sighs> <sighs> all right. <Yeah. laughs> like like it's getting shorter and shorter and shorter. I know I shouldn't have done it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm shot in the head. The head. Frankie. Hey. <laughs> this is actually pretty clever. I think. Was there actually a hole in there? Or did we make the hole? I we forgot cut the hole in there. Yeah, we cut because we hole. got that half for free somehow. This is crazy how everything lined up for you know. There was some homeless person stuff around that area too. True. It was really weird. We we're like, what are those guys comes back? I think Alex did really <laughs> good at acting at this part. I remember one thing about Jack is like, whenever we'd run into like a weird person, he'd always ask if they wanted to be in the movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's one of your flaws, honestly. Yeah, I know. Jack. I just, it's like, hey, you want to be in it? Like, like, yeah, you want to be in the movie? It's like, I was like, no. <laughs> You remember that guy selling shirts to us? Yeah. So we're, we're filming a scene, and there's a guy walking around just digging shirts out of his pants and stuff. Oh, here's that bad frame, right? <laughs> this is a great flashback, though. And Cole for some reason, this whole evil. thing, the frame rate is wonky, but there's Willy. Willy Wonk. There's Cramp. Cramp. Kill it. Everyone's that like shot. He's smiling in that shot, but he's, he's screaming. Yeah. I think that shot looks really, really good. This is one of our first days of filming too. Or yeah, no, this, this is the second time we went right back here. to the to that location. Did we go back and yeah, set we up went, again? We went back. Oh yes, we did. It was that night because we didn't yeah, set everything. I remember up again. that. And this shot is so cool. The execution scene. See, they're conforming. They're ma putting on a mask, hiding their true selves. But Cole doesn't want to. So but Cole does not. So the other Cole just unloads into him. Oh, so I'm just other Cole to you now? Well, I'm just saying that. No, <laughs> I, I said Cole his name first. I said Look his name tie first. completely so. on wrong, Ed. <laughs> yeah, it was on completely <laughs> wrong. I really I really wanted to overdub in the... I, I say I'm sorry here. And then I actually shoot him three times, not twice. But, you know, problems happen, You can't happen, really tell Jack. the third time, honestly. It kind of looks like twice, honestly. And this, this blood here, we just... Wanted you to feel messy about the whole situation. Like, yeah, leave a pit in your stomach. Like Robbie and, just uh, did this. If you can't tell, that song is actually used as the same song as "The Walk" by Cole Mason. Actually, that was Jags. I just wanted to post it on oh, Cole. Look at Eddie's tie. Jack, though. Jack just didn't want to post it, so I posted it. Yeah, yeah. my tie's just effed up. And then there's Cookie Cade on the right. Cookie's wrinkly shirt. Because <laughs> <laughs> we kept all our outfits in like a suitcase. Oh, in this my car. frame rate. Just trash, and it goes on for so long too. It's kind of uh, really noticeable. Yeah, it looks like it looks like a 2009 <laughs> music video. <laughs> music yeah, video. <laughs> and then Frankie just leaves. It was a normal frame, right? Oh, it's normal frame, right? I gotta make a nice. Another song by Pa here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a tea steakhouse. Shout Yo. out to Linda. Lydia. 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 Yeah. I feel like your dad is there a lot. Oh, yeah. He, oh, he just goes there steakhouse. and hangs out with Conrad. There's me. I don't <laughs> know why we had me in there. Yeah, there's Shell. That's our stepmom. Shell. And there's that house that we somehow got to go in. Yeah, how did we do that again? <laughs> Wasn't it like you like you kind of like booked it for a day or something? Oh, yeah. We had to pay $60, and we got $60 back when we were done. 
There's Conrad and Cleet and Pop. Oh, so that oh, he's looking at the alley ooh. where his dad died, and then he just ooh. turns away because he's trying to forget everything, and he's totally turning. Cole's evil. having water because he's not yet 21. Oh, this shot right here. <laughs> Look at that shot. Plus, we didn't want to buy anything at the steakhouse. So, so looking at that montage, one of the days we were filming that montage, me and Jack, was it me, you, and Ed, or was it just me and you? We found ourselves downtown, and we went into the building that we used as one of the police station like hallways, and we got in the elevator, and we went to like floor four or five, oh, yeah, yeah. and it was just completely empty. Yeah, and it that was, was the so inspiration weird. for that scene. Yeah. Yeah. It was so weird. Yeah. It felt like another like we should have stayed there. Right. I wonder what happened. Twenty four hours. This challenge. is this is the message, main message of the whole movie right here. Is to always do the right thing. What you know is right. Even though everyone else, maybe the whole world, is doing it wrong. <sighs> what a guy. Words of wisdom. Just classic yeah, lesson. Right yeah, whatever, is. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And so that table we built the day before, too, it's a makeshift table. <laughs> well, how bad did that hurt when you jumped on that? I did it three times. <laughs> it sucked. Right. We had to, like, try to put it together. <laughs> I was so sore. <laughs> this scene, I think, turned out so really good. So notice that mirror is there? Yeah, you can see Ed filming. The mirror that was stupid the thing, Ed kid. That He's thing was there, up. and then all of a sudden, Frankie. it's not. Do like it disappeared. I think this is Fra <laughs> this is Frankie's coolest outfit for sure. We should have had the sweatshirt on the whole time instead of just the t-shirt. Personal choice. And his pants is ripped. Look at my pants. I ripped so many pairs of jeans during this whole film set. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. That always got a that got a, that always gets a chuckle out of someone. A I left ripped four pairs of pants during this whole movie. Done would be for no for this nothing. Is, this is some great acting, by the way. Honestly, some of uh, me and you going back and forth like that—that that was so fun, and it it worked so well. Some of our best. You acting. guys got mad at that each was other a, too. That was we a had long... to get mad at each other to like properly yeah. like. That was a long day of filming. I remember it was. Then we got BK after that, and that was satisfying. It was. We should have gone to Taco Bell though. You He's just going for the heart. Ooh. Honestly, I would love to shoot another scene like that. Yeah. Just like unload your emotions into it. Because right, yeah. that's when it feels like the most authentic, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So this is like Frankie confronting Robbie because he knows all the bad crap he's been doing. But Robbie's telling Frankie that Frankie hasn't exactly been clean either. But Frankie does not have no choice. So overall, Frankie's pretty clean. It's right. just, you know, his moral compass... His, his moral compass no his moral compass <laughs> moral is straight compass. his moral compass is straight like it, it does it does right, stay yeah. straight the entire his moral film. compass pulls up but he also like kills people oh this is my favorite line from Cole in the whole movie <laughs> except the frame rate is trash tonight tonight ooh ooh you look like Mr. Boots in that shot me? no <laughs> Cole <laughs> nobody's gonna know who that is it's me. I look like a fatty in that again. I'm just a fat lard, I guess. <laughs> Get out. Right here. Get out! That was actually <laughs> awesome. I love that. Thank that you was so sick. much. Look at that shot. This is the best oh, shot in the movie. It's oh so good. I used to not be able to tell if he was facing forward or back. <laughs> <than> this, <laughs> we put the... <laughs> it's like one of those optical illusions. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, this scene here... The drone broke and my camera wasn't working. Watch the documentary to get the full experience. Yeah, get the full experience with this whole thing. But uh, yeah. basically, uh, I think this scene turned out really, really well. Yeah, we just had this old guy sitting in that rich penthouse next to us. It was weird. He was super nice. Though. He was well, awesome. He was an awesome yeah, guy. Was I can't believe that this came out. He was awesome. He was I can't great. believe yeah, that, that, that this came out earlier this year. <laughs> Joking, he was a dick. <laughs> He can't. He wasn't. He was awesome. What kind of a conversation okay, are you out. guys take having this about? Out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe we need to pause it. No, we gotta keep All going. All right, keep going. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna we're gonna cut that out. All right. It just got really Ron, quiet. Everybody and thinks Ron's for you my dad. Guys. Everybody thinks Ron's my dad like in this movie. Listen, that. everybody thinks uh, that guy is Frankie's dad in the movie. That's Ron, but Ron's not. He's just supposed to be a wise rooftop man. That guy was awesome. <laughs> was that was that his name in the script? Wise rooftop man? No, it's Carl. In canon, it's Carl. It's Look at Carl. that shot. 
The only thing is I wish the colors were a little bit more intense. It's all right. Ron's supposed to be playing a 30-year-old, but he's like 19. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a six year old. He looks wise. He just looks wise. He's See, if, and if we would have if we would have properly locked that uh lit that scene, it would have been fine too. It would have looked True fine. Because it does look I still think it looked okay. Well like it, it looks around. all right, but like if we would have properly lit it, it would have been a lot the quality would have matched the earlier stuff. Right. That was yeah. terrible film. How would you get the location of every police scanner? Police scanner. Oh you can see don't. Jack crack up at this part. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, that was really funny. That's so funny. That was a one take too. Just spilling all over. Dylan. Poor Dylan. This is also way back in the very first days of filming. It goes so back and forth. Oh, uh, Lard! One of my favorite people that we've sh that we ever shoot with. One hundred percent. I can. Everybody, I, by everybody the way, that. putting that putting that line in the trailer and then it's like in a yeah, different in place the in the movie. There were like at least a couple of people that walked up to me and were like, oh, yeah, I, thought, like, I yeah. thought that the weird they were going to play pool or something. Frankie was supposed to shoot that guy there once he hit the floor, but Ma wouldn't allow Oh my that God, that, that shot, that shot. That shot, the running. The running. Cole was getting pushed in a rolly chair Three by Khan. Three seconds. Yeah. And it was like, it took us like five minutes to do. Yeah, it's so funny though. Because <laughs> the ground had like vents in it because it was an auto body yeah. shot. So and we had to like go across the concrete part of it. It was weird. This, this was on that one of those first days too. That's where Connor got hurt actually. Yeah. You can see when Actually, this entire shot, isn't it like like four different day worth no, this days whole, worth of like this whole scene is at at least four different days. Tony, just piecing. If you watch the blood on Jack's head, it fluctuates like his moral it compass. Changes. <laughs> it fluctuates like his moral compass. You know, he's not like Iron Man. You know? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. So we filmed. So Dill doing Wait that. Wait for it. Oh, oh, the earrings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. No, it, his, it, the blood changed it again. Changes. It looks like on a different looks better. I think it looks, better. Better. Think it looks yeah, the best That's there, the best yeah. that it looks. But then it'll change again because he did it so well, many different things. Then it changes. Yeah. So in like a minute here, you're about to see wow. Cole pop through and shoot Connor. When you sh he shoots Connor, Connor actually fell off screen, and that's when he hurt himself. God, that looks so good. It does look really good. And then the is that the DSLR? Why did that look so different? Because sometimes my camera goes into wonky. We're filming on a G7X Mark II, which is not for filming; it's for vlogging. But yeah, so I wasn't even standing there. I was probably I think I was holding the camera at this part because this was on a completely different day. So Dill talking and me talking. Ended up here listening to you and your boring lectures. I love this scene. It's unfortunate that it was so many that it was it's like four different days of shooting. True, because it's it's sad. We kept going back and we're like, we need to add, we need to change. And then Trevor comes in for some reason. The, the well, you had to come in to change the chip in your head. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> story just gets changed. So dumb. Your mistake was trusting me. And ending up here without a plan. Classic. You're though. wrong because my buddy that, that was good and so cool. bad and then yeah, so good. <laughs> you can see I Connor think, fall and he hurt himself. No, I think that, that that whole scene of you busting in was really good. I agree. It was. And I like how, how how much it implies of you getting in there with a mask. Because that means that you would have to sneak in there, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. That, that implies a lot. There's big Jalen, your little <laughs> legend. <laughs> Why you gotta add big to it? <laughs> Jalen, we don't think that you're big. <laughs> He's. <laughs> this, this whole commentary is just us trying to roast. <laughs> We're saying some tables. <laughs> this is not how we normally are, guys. We're normally way worse. <laughs> guys, you know, it's oh, Christmas wait, 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 Eve. We've all been Ed. drinking. If you go back and you see Dylan, you see Ed playing basketball in the we back. not been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> this, so we actually, this is one of the last things that we shot. <laughs> Are you guys okay? This is just this commentary has gone to crap. This is, this is what happens when we try to do serious stuff. <laughs> you know, guys, it's that, Christmas that, that Eve. Guy in the is like, you know, the, so we actually it's filmed that day. there. <laughs> So we actually we cops. actually filmed that in a parking lot because we were getting so paranoid of that like was. more cops showing up on us. True, because because this alley scene here, um, when we get out of the cars, was the night that we got three squad cars called on us, and we were pointed at. It was scary. Yeah, cops showed up. They told us to drop the guns because 
Somebody reported that we were in the alley with And guns. this actually looks legit when they're driving into each other. Oh, they actually look, rolled out of the car. Right. That looks, that so looks good. super convincing. Cuz we had no yes. budget to I didn't make think an that actual that was, car like, crash. Convincing at all, but like like when we were shooting it, but when I saw it, I was like, "Oh, wow, that mm -hmm. actually looked like Yeah, this end right. scene is actually so solid. It's so good. Yeah. Which is nice that it ends with a This is funny. This is so funny. Yeah. But the only problem is you can see a guy walking past him after the gunshot. Now when the camera switches, you can see a guy just walking behind him. And he would not be that <laughs> That's chill probably the guy it. that called us in. Yeah, because he was just... No, because it was after Cole punched uh, Dill. So yeah, this this whole scene was shot on two different days just too. Because this, this was right before... This is literally the, maybe the scene I think I before. I think you can tell because up. of my sweatshirt. I'm wearing a Nike swoosh. Like, I should not be wearing like these sporty sweatshirts, you know, like with the brand on them. That was great acting there by not Dill. A baby. I like that shot that Cole got. Like, this looks so cinematic. The time of night it was. All for it to end here. It kind of looks like it's starting to be morning, almost. Yeah. Which you know? shows how rough your night's been. <laughs> I like that scene there. <laughs> he he almost little, swore. Little. <laughs> I want to see a slick trigger, too. Or like a prequel. or Yeah, yeah it's Cyrus. It's called Cyrus. Cyrus. Ooh, that'd be sick. That'd be so good. Not confirmed. Not confirmed. Yeah, you guys can hold on to your horses there. Do you, think, like you, guys do want you got more projects. Are you going to make like a... Is, Here's a genuine question, not related to, kind of related to the movie. Hey, this is the shot are you gonna you make, pulled up on by the cops. Is this a, are you going to make a cinematic universe? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Is Shoreline in the Slick hey, Trigger whoa, universe? Whoa, whoa, we can't drop that name yet. Yeah, we've dropped Shoreline before. Oh, it's, guys, Shoreline. Is in the uh, TCU. Shoreline. So right, no, what's, in the, what's, in the, Shoreline. what's in the TCPU? If we're just going by movies, so far it's just Slick Trigger. But, I mean, Shoreline. we can find ways to like connect all our YouTube videos to them and stuff. Eventually. Oh, I think this part's really cool. The 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 connecting of all the good people in the movie. Like it shows how Frankie has felt alone and hopeless, but it shows but there are good people that he yeah, has been. With. So then it reflects on that there actually is good people. Right. When you obviously like, Robbie betrays him. When you step back and realize it. But Robbie Robbie really does find his moral compass at the end of the movie. Definitely. Right. You know those bars the moral compass. <laughs> the moral. Back on this moral compass <laughs> bullcrap. You guys nine. keep making fun of me for. <laughs> it, I feel like it's Captain America and Iron Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robbie's okay, moral all right, compass. Right, right. Robbie's moral compass fluctuates here when he's yelling at. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you can actually recognize this, you know, you know, it's switch. Oh, oh, you see how they switch places, you know, their moral compass actually switched. <laughs> see, no. his moral compass has <laughs> died down a little bit. He's relaxed okay. now. Enough about the moral <laughs> compass. <laughs> Do you, think, do you think that Robbie did turn out all right in the end? I think he did. Do he should have gone to jail. If there, were, if there were to be a sequel, do you think that Robbie could actually turn again to the bad side? Oh, I think yeah. Robbie I would think be in jail in the sequel because he killed that cop. Low key. Do you think that he'd turn himself in there? I think. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me talk about this quick. Um, so this was actually from an adventure vlog that we pulled. Um, so this was probably filmed in 2017 sometime. Same with that. That was during an adventure vlog. And, uh, and most of his like the, the, the shots you'll see at the very end. So that was filmed on the warehouse day, obviously. But with Frankie, those were some of the very first wow. days we filmed. That's crazy. How those are actually legit about. seagulls. Hey, there's Mimi. And that's her grandma. Thank you, Jesus. What a glorious day. That's a great line. Classic. I came to my senses and gave back my position as chief. Okay, so he gave back his position, but do you think that he would turn himself in because he killed the people? Right? He did. That would be interesting to see how that would. If all we play made a out. number two, I think we could delve into that. A we could more. play with that for sure. So this, yeah, this here was. This was the the first day of the for the literal first day of shooting. Yeah. That that uh lake scene. Why did you choose that for your first day of filming? Because we knew that that's where it wanted to go. Plus it was summertime, and we had to film that. In the <laughs> Everyone summer. laughs at that. Oh yeah, I'm glad that they got that because I was worried they wouldn't. This is actually at our piano teacher's farm. She let us just bring it. We actually yeah. burned our stuff. We did burn our stuff. The Cyrus mask, like, that's legit. Except for the guns, of course. We still have a lot of guns at our house. Oh, yeah. We just burned the mask. See, the guns are out now. But, yeah, this shot, the drone ran out of battery right as we got done with that shot. Yeah. Luckily. It was, like, really, really close to losing it. Exactly. 
Oh my goodness, that looks so cool. That is so, so awesome. Sick. I think that that's a great dun, fitting dun, last dun, shot. Dun, 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 dun. And all right, now let's take time to talk about all these names pulling up. Jack so, Unruh, you know, nice job. Good yeah, job, yeah, Jack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Quinn yeah. Anderson, what a God legend. Yo, what a guy. Okay, what an why absolute do I, guy. What is his Jack, Jack, was Jack is you more. literally did so much to this film, and, and Ed's like, you're cool, you're cool. <laughs> 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 no, no, I think, I think, okay, so at the end of the day, so you see John Unruh. Yeah, his, his, love yes, love you, Pop. Love you, Dad. Pop. That's our dad. He did the score. There's Big Gare, whose moral compass is you know, very strong. <laughs> <laughs> Joy Shaw, Joy Shaw, you, you are the great awesome. animation. He did this this end thing. Um, and if you look at if you look at the Arkham Origins um, moral compass, <laughs> shut up. If you look at shut the Arkham up, Origins um, menu screen, it's kind of like this, which is where we got the inspiration from. It looks so good. It ties in the Christmas theme and you know the sinister theme. And, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, nice job, you did all right. Nah, you did okay. Hey, hey, yo, let's go. <laughs> what is the, what, why? <laughs> I literally did all right. Let's Dylan, go. Yes, Dylan. we love you, Dylan. Thank you for all what you've done. Thought. And hopefully, we'll see you in our next project. Ooh. Wink, wink. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Don't yo, drop too yo, much info yo, yet. Yo. Yo. Shoreline. Yeah. Oh, uh, ew. You know, right, let's he get did out of here. Right. I think this is you know, my I hate that. Underrated Eddie, character, dude, I'm, honestly. I'm sick of my stuff. I hate yeah, myself. Gross. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Con, what a guy. Um, we love Con. Yeah. No, no, nice job, what? buddy. Chilling. He did so good with he filming. He did so much for us, too. Acting. He worked it's hard. Aaron, Ron, Ron, you just can't you. get more classy since boy. day you one. We can't get more classy. gift for them. You guys check that out. Kooky Bide. What a Thanks for always being there for us. He actually slept over our house like four days. He likes Costco. He's less. The bus driver. Bus driver, Les. man. What a guy. Yeah. He's wise. He's good at acting, too. Jesse, yes. nice job, buddy. Good I don't know job, why Jess. we didn't use a shot of him. Yeah, I don't I'm know why we used confused. that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> nice job, buddy. You did job. great, too. Job. Thanks Alex for always being there for us. Yeah. Killed it. Cyrus, that's what a it. Guy. Kind okay, of so why, okay, so when we go into this end credit scene, why did you decide to make this an end credit and not like in not the like movie? put it where it was? I just don't think it. Because the ending was supposed to kind of be like a serious more thing, you know, kind of like really trying to hammer the message. How home. many times did we actually do this? We twice. Have, like, this was, no, this is a lot. This is like twice. This is hilarious. And you can hear Jalen laughing at the very end. You can hear him because it was it was the uh, the three of us and Jalen and Dill that was here on this day of film. Jalen's not there with us when the cops pull up on us. Oh, sorry, rude. <laughs> rude. <laughs> Oh yeah, so this part here, Super just listen, meta. just listen yeah. at Jalen, listen in the background. I did not hear. It. You <laughs> We're can hear like, it. Uh, you can uh, hear it. Yeah, this is what. <laughs> I'm so glad that this actually, you actually didn't put it where it's supposed to be because it's kind of like. This awkward. is totally breaking the fourth yeah. wall. Yeah, <laughs> like, like fully. Yeah, it's so dumb. <laughs> this is, honestly, why do we do this? Once again, our humor, guys. You probably yeah, don't even you probably get what's don't happening. Get it. Yeah. We're, we're, we got better humor than you. You're just inferior. inferior. You know. <laughs> You're more compass. <laughs> 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 This moral compass stuff. <laughs> what is your deal? <laughs> Poor Cole James Andrews. Gosh. All right. So overall Thank you guys review. So much for watching. Overall review. Um. Okay. I'll I'll go first. I'll go first. All right. Make making this film. All the technical flaws that there are. <laughs> talking about all the story <laughs> flaws. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quit interrupting, Cole James <laughs> Andrews. Wait, what just happened? He was laughing at Doctor Spence. <laughs> All right, Cole, go. Ben Jibben. I'm taking Ed's <laughs> mic from him. No, you are kidding. For what we had at the time, it's it couldn't be any better. Like we're laughing about like how bad stuff is, and like, but like honestly, when you're running and gunning and like you got to get it done, it's honestly really, really good true like as, as a quick, I'm alone hey it's another song by pop nobody's coming um, to save me hey yeah Jesus so song. I hope you guys know that my dad actually legitly wrote this song and made it and sang it and all that I'm very proud of him. nice job pops um so yeah I think at the end of the day it was it was the best we could do for what we had and I'm very proud of it for all of us 
I think that we worked so hard on it. We put blood, sweat, and tears. I'm not even lying. Like literally like, all three of those. Things. We yeah. actually did. Except into tears. This movie. Was there tears? Yeah. Honestly, me, yeah. yeah. Stress. There oh, was yeah, a lot of stress. Yeah, yeah. If, any, if, if there was tears from anyone, it was me. Yeah. Honestly, not one day I'm too. sad. Your dad's dead. Your dad's dead. Your dad's True, dead. Your yeah. dad's <laughs> dead. Your dad's dead. <laughs> you just feel like an absolute pile. <laughs> you actually did that to yourself? <laughs> obviously, he, he hasn't seen the documentary. Yeah, yeah he obviously hasn't seen the documentary. But yeah, it's um, it was fun. You know, I've you know I've actually counted how many times I'm in the credits, seven times I'm in the scrolling credits. We tried to like make the names like such like location enterprise, like such like. <laughs> it's like that's basically just where we filmed at. Guys. Yeah, like where we were at. Like, the diner. Premier agents. It's actually the name of the diner. That actually was legit though. I'd say premier agents because Shell and Mod worked hard on that. Right. Mm, tunes. There's so much copyright. Okay, so if much we're being honest copyrighted. here. Like Arkham but Origins. Luckily, somehow YouTube allows all these songs without us getting copyrighted. So like, we're, there's no way we'll ever make well, money. Well, it's copyrighted. Off of this. It's copyright claim, but it hasn't been striked. Yeah, so we can basically never legally make money off of this movie though. No. This would be such theft because we use so many other people's songs. Which sucks though, because it's so expensive to buy a song. Yeah. But really yeah, sucks. so I mean, but with your future film, you're gonna try to go with a more original soundtrack. Right. And yeah, try yeah. to license exactly. a song or two. Maybe yeah. if it doesn't cost nice. five million dollars. Sure. Yeah. So, sure. Yeah. It's. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys Keep for watching and listening to this commentary track. We know that's been wild. We know that life. You know, can get you down sometimes. Um, but I hope that you guys had fun. Thank you for viewing this. Thank you for watching the movie and supporting us. Absolutely. It's Thanks for, uh, uh, you know, keeping up with us when we were just laughing for five minutes straight. <laughs> yeah, we got a little crazy, but we always do. You know, Hopefully, you know, you thanks for trudging through that with us, guys. We get we'll try to fix while. our moral compasses. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Peace. 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 Check out our podcast, Small Small YouTube channel. Yeah. Let's talk. Check <laughs> out Gorilla. Please check out Gorilla. Give us some love. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, bye. <laughs>